yes, the first job for me of the day, the first proper job, is not driving a tractor. And, well, I don't know quite what they're doing. Tilling the soil or seed, oh, I don't know whether they're fertilising or putting seed in. But anyway, no, my first job is to shoot down to the shops Uh, yeah, buy a bottle of milk, things like that. Other people's first job of the day is to take their tractors Just, you know, this is a very agricultural part of the world, and in many ways, this is the bread basket. Let's find the right gear. That's that's a good gear, that one will do. I've got a choice of several, and they all seem to work. Yes, this, this area produces all sorts of things, wheat, maize, sunflower, uh, lin, you know, lin, the plant that you get linseed from, um, I don't know exactly what they do with it, whether it's just for the linseed oil or whether they do use it to make is it linen that you make with linseed? Uh, lin. And of course also, there's cattle, both for milk, for cheese, butter, and for meat. there as you can see is a crop of maize waiting to be cut. Over on the left, the farm on the left is a cattle farm. Um, looking at what they've got I think it's mainly milk. And they've got a mixed herd, they've got um, Charolais, which are for the meat, and they've got Limousin, which, yeah, I think they're mainly for the milk. One of the other big products of this area is wood, as in firewood. You now there's lots and lots, oh, look at the calves, oh, he said, banging the windscreen. Charolais, they're beef for uh, the table. But yes, there's a lot of wood is cut here. Uh, the woodlands are managed for producing firewood. Oh goodness. side of Mezier that produces Christmas trees. I guess there's money in that. Take that gear, I think.
this, as you all well know, is the approach to Isère sur Creuse. Very pretty little town. towns should be, the tallest and most obvious building in the town is the church. Well, some of you want to know what I bought when I went shopping. Well, I bought milk and I bought Kit Kats. Um, I didn't buy tea bags because they didn't have any. But the important thing that I bought was this stuff that's just the brand name but um, yeah normally that's a word that would be used for a sort of self-leveling compound for a floor but it's also uh, used to repair stones Yeah, you in thin coats up to five millimeters, exactly the same as the stone, and yeah. Now, this stuff compared to plaster is not cheap. It's um, what was this? This was 37 euro 90 for the sack of. 25 kilos so it's to be treated with respect you mix it the same as plaster uh, the other thing I bought was an Auge de Masson because uh, I wanted a nice clean one to mix this stuff in uh, you know so it, you, you do it the same way you water in you know, a little bit of water and then about three times the volume of dust and stir well and then apply with a trowel I have had a go with using this stuff uh, I'm hoping to make a better job with this than the last time I used it but you know practice makes perfect and all that so yeah that's that's what I went to the shops to get and the idea uh, with that raglayage is to turn all of this ugliness into something respectable now some of these repairs you know this this predates me someone had pushed I'll say concrete in there uh, some of the damage to the stone is just natural sort of weathering 
one of the things that's a little bit sad is that I will be covering in if you look there's there's writing in the stone but you can hardly read it and it has no meaning to me you know, I don't know what these are all about whether that was a bored child who just was drawing circles or whether it was something really important I don't know uh, but yes the idea will be to make this beautiful now it's going to take more than one uh, coat and looking at that I think I ought to render that with some show before I um, use the rag rayage but I know you all want to see how well it works so yep yeah, we'll uh, we'll have a little go with it the way that I've seen it used is you you simply plaster everything up with it and then you cut coarse lines in to make it look like stonework it works it works quite well if the guy using it knows how to use it yeah yep I guess I'd better get on well let's push some muck in so that uh, that gives something for the rag rayage to stick to but of course that needs to go off a bit before we do anything more with that uh, yeah and it's Wednesday and Wednesday oh excuse me Wednesdays we have a very important afternoon engagement so you're gonna have to wait to see how we get on with the rag rayage but just, you know, keep that picture in mind of how nasty that is.